Guys, welcome to Fitness Business Secrets. Today, I'm going to teach you how to fuel your fitness empire. I'm going to teach you some game-changing ad strategies that Tom has been implementing. Tom is an amazing fitness business owner in New Zealand, um, and what he has been able to do recently is spend $480 on his paid ads and get back $2,800 per week. If you are able to implement these strategies, just like Tom, you're going to make lead generation really easy. You're going to be front end positive on your ads. So what that means is how Tom's spending 480 on his ads, he's getting back 2,800. You can start to spend very, very freely to acquire new customers. And you are going to get a really amazing amount of freedom and confidence within inside your fitness business. If you are struggling to generate leads right now, Okay, if you're not running paid ads, it could be the solution that you are looking for because you are able to run paid ads and get 10, 15, 20, 25 leads every single week. So that makes the lead generation strategies incredibly easy. Now, one of the things that we did uh, with Tom, he was running messenger ads, which is really, really common with inside an online fitness business. My friends like Andrew Gosen from Systems by Design, they'll run a lot of messenger ads where they'll get like hundreds of leads across the world. Now within our testing guys, and I am very blessed to work with over 300 gyms, gyms, PT businesses and boot camps. we found that running lead generation ads is the best way to get leads that convert into sales. You do want to have a few qualification questions, which we're not going to go into the deep part of ads today, but by simply changing over from messenger to lead generation has made a massive change with inside Tom's business. Now, I have to give a huge shout out before we get into the content for you guys on one of my clients named Connor based in um, the UK. He closed his first two sales from paid ads for his online fitness business. Connor made, I want you to know I'm so proud of you. Really enjoy those first couple of sales. You'll never forget them, but you are going to close hundreds and hundreds and hundreds more in your career, but I am just very, very proud of you. But let's focus on what Tom's doing really well so you can kind of you know, steal some of the information and implement it into your own business because we want your fitness business to be really, really successful. The first one, guys, is make sure the ads are suiting your business. And that was the first lesson that we covered a while ago on making sure that you're running lead generation ads with qualifying questions, right, so that you're able to get the name, email, and phone number of your leads to be able to follow up with them to get them booked into consultations. Now, one of the things when you're doing the sales yourself or you'll have a team with inside your fitness business is you need to map out your perfect week. Okay, when are you going to do your sales follow-ups via, you know, calls to be able to get those consults to book in? Okay, we recommend doing them at morning, lunchtime, and also in the afternoon. I'm not a big fan of like outsourcing your sales to other companies. It just absolutely obliterates your profit margins. And in the end, when you're selling, um, you know, over the phone or potentially face-to-face in your fitness business, it is not too difficult to be able to close sales. And I believe it's a skill that you will always bring in-house at some stage. So you might as well learn it now. But you want to map out your perfect week. Okay, when are you doing your sales follow-up times so that you can convert these leads into sales? But guys, you want to make sure that you're using automations. There's an amazing tool called ACR 365 where it will automate your texts and emails to get your leads to auto book consultations. This is something that my friend Jackson has spent many years building out. He's constantly refining it. He's like a big time like nerd on all this automation stuff, right? And by, by, by having automations, right, where you're following up your leads to get them to book in without you having to do the texts and emails, which can be very, very tedious. It's going to help you improve your lead to consultation percentage, okay? It's also going to save you an absolute ton of time so that you can get the best results possible when you are running paid ads. As a simple rule of thumb, guys, when I was scaling my fitness businesses from 27 members all the way up to 1,200, We actually just wanted to have a one-to-one ROI on the front end. So what that means is we wanted to spend a thousand a week on our ads and get a thousand or more back within seven days. 
But if you see here what Tom's doing, he's spending 480 and getting 2,800 back. So you can be front end positive, but if you can get your lead cost, uh, your, your ads, uh, your ad spend to cover the amount of revenue you're getting in new sales, guys, you will be able to scale a seven figure fitness facility. I know that because I scaled a seven figure fitness business and we were only aiming for one to one ROI on the front end, but we're so blessed to be able to bring five, 10, 15, 25 people through a week with that model. And Tom's running a six week offer. Okay. The longer that you run the offer, essentially, the more that you can get people to pay. So it's really, really common now. Uh, people are running like six-week offers, a little bit more than a 28-day offer, just purely because the front end, um, like uh, customer lifetime value just on the front end is usually about 100 to $200 more, and that just helps you cover your ad spend. So it's really important, guys, when you're running ads, right, that you are running the right offer so that you can cover your ad spend in new sales and new cash that you collect. Okay, that's where running free trials, not very beneficial. You run cash flow negative for six weeks. Running a, you know, six, uh, $21 for 21 days doesn't help you cover your ad spend. And that's where a lot of people will do a 28 day offer for around $199 to $299, a six week offer from around that $299, anywhere up to, you know, $599. So that that way, if you spend $500 on your ads, you want to get $500 or more back within a seven day period. But then also, guys, when you're running ads, there's so many different complex parts. So I'm really blessed to be able to coach Tom. I love catching up with him each week. But we've actually implemented a few other really cool things in his business because he knows that he can scale with paid ads. But one of the lessons, right, that we learned that you don't own Facebook, you don't own Instagram, there's ad accounts getting shut down, you know, whatever might happen. So you want to build out other lead generation sources. And what Tom did, right, is he hired a virtual assistant to do sell by chat in his business. And last week, in the second week of this VA starting, they got four consultations booked right? So that we can turn those consultations into sales. So then what we're doing is we're starting to build out multiple lead generation platforms for Tom's business. He's got his Facebook and Instagram ads, referrals. Now we've got organic, and then we'll go down the line with a little bit of Google stuff, and then also some joint ventures in time. So guys, I hope you got a tip or two on what Tom's implementing to absolutely crush his fitness business right now. One of the things that I really love about Tom, and I want you to have this same mindset in your fitness business as well, is Tom is not actually happy with the results. He is blissfully unsatisfied. He is always focusing on getting better. He's focusing on improving his automations, improving his ads, improving his sales. He's already reached out to me to do one-on-one -on -one sales coaching with my business partner, Brad. Right, He's working with his virtual assistant to be able to get more leads. And he's also upgraded his facility. It looks absolutely fucking beautiful, Right, the amount of work he's done with inside his fitness business. Right, He's constantly getting better. And that is the aim of life and also business. Your business is never complete. You're always trying to improve it. You're always trying to get better. You're always trying to get better results with your clients, improve your marketing, improve your sales. And if you have that mindset... Just like Tom, I have absolutely no doubt you'll be able to crush your fitness business this year, the next year, and for all the rest of the years that you are a fitness business owner.